All right, this is Ken Carricker, and uh, this is my theory of gravity, and uh, more specifically, it's my theory of the development of elements, strings, and gravity. It's August 7th, 2015. I acknowledge that I used photographs and pictures that are not my own, otherwise this work is entirely my own product. We've all seen maps of the world, and while the map is 2, 2D and flat, we know that, that what it actually represents is a sphere. I suggest that a periodic table is simply a flat map. I believe that the elements in a periodic table were born from a sphere. The elements in the ring, uh, the first one being uh, hydrogen, or the outermost ring being hydrogen, the second ring being helium, followed by lithium, beryllium, etc. The material space uh, slash media uh, that separates the elements when they were born uh, is similar to the connective tissue uh, that is commonly now referred to as strings. As the core expanded, um, the elements were uh, set into motion. You know, the hydrogen helium rings intermingled and rolled, and this action produced suns. As the sun ring expanded, it spawned sun spheres. The sun spheres moved in all directions away from the epicenter. And while they moved away from each other, the connective tissue slash strings stretched tension, but did not break. The independent activity of each sun generates rings of motion. The inter intersecting motion rings create vortices. And these vortices wrap the connective tissue slash strings and this is what we know as gravity. Uh, as the remaining elements were cast away or you know, set in motion and went you know, throughout the galaxy, um, they collected in the areas where, we, where there's gravity and uh, that's what became planets. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good day.